What is going on everyone? Have you ever heard the expression, it's no day at the beach? If you haven't, it's normally part of a conversation about something unpleasant, like a tough day at work, dental work, passing a kidney stone, etc. The reason we say that is, to most of us, being at the beach is a good time. So if it's a bad time, it's no day at the beach, get it? Okay, most people dream about living at the beach. And that's why having an ocean view home costs double or more what the same house might cost a mile or so inland. But just living in a beach town is a dream for a lot of people. Today's video is about beach towns that some would consider affordable and might actually be an option now or in the future for a lot of us. On this video, we look for towns that are on the coast, have somewhat of a low cost of living, and reasonable housing costs. And I'll tell you up front that I'm sure we missed some in a lot of people's opinion. I would love to hear about it in the comments section below. As always, if this list gets a good amount of views, we might do a viewer's version of your suggestions. One other thing I want to tell you is if you've come to this video looking for affordable beach towns in Southern California or let's say Hawaii, forget it, they don't exist. All right, let's see what we got. Number 10, Jacksonville, North Carolina. Yeah, not the Florida Jacksonville. This one's in North Carolina. Jacksonville is a military and a beach town right outside of Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, which is the largest Marine Corps base on the East Coast. This one kind of shouldn't be on the list because it's a little bit inland, but it has a bay called the New River, and most people really consider this a beach town. The town is home to 73,000 people, and they aren't all Marines or in the Navy. They say a median home price here goes for about $160,000. Now, that's what they say, and that's the averages, but realistically, you can get a nice three-bedroom home built in the last 10 years for under $250,000. It's a good price. They do have the Marine Corps Air Station New River right outside of town, and that can get a little loud, so that might help bring down the property value, but it's a nice place to live. The crime isn't terrible, and the cost of living is 15% lower than the national average. So it is a definitely good place to live and buy a home. Rent's pretty cheap here, too. Number nine, Gulfport, Mississippi. Gulfport is Mississippi's second largest city after the capital city of Jackson. This is a beach town that's right on the Gulf of Mexico and not too far from Biloxi, Mississippi. The beaches here are really nice. I've been there a couple times. It's been years, but I've been there a couple times. They still look great. The waterfront district is always a good time. People get to stroll around with cocktails in their to-go cups and wander up and down the beaches if you want and into the casinos. This is a tourist town, sort of like Vegas with cut-off jeans. The median home price, they say, is $127,000. Now, realistically, you can get a nice three-bedroom home for between two hundred twenty and 300000 Keep in mind, we got some nice ocean here. Those are really good prices for what you're getting. If you want to go big, you can get an ocean view home for under 500000 They have one right now that's just like 490000 That is directly across Beach Boulevard from the sand. That's how close you are. Look out your front door, you can see the ocean. Or the Gulf. On top of all that good news, the cost of living here is 14% lower than the national average. This town has a lot of really good people too. You'll notice that as soon as you go there. People are decent here. A lot of the South is that way. You gotta go into some really crappy neighborhoods to find bad people in the South a lot of times. Number eight, Aberdeen, Washington. This one is one of my favorites. Aberdeen is located at the mouth of Grays Harbor. If you like water, this place has more than enough. It is on Grays Harbor, like I said. The Pacific Ocean is right there, and they have three rivers that flow into the harbor all around the town. And of course, water falls from the sky on a regular basis, like the rest of the Pacific Northwest. It rains a lot here. It is also the birthplace of Kurt Cobain. Yeah, he was born here. They even have the Kurt Cobain Memorial Park, named in the memory of the late Nirvana musician. The median home price here is about $160,000. That's what they say. But realistically, you're looking at two hundred twenty dollars to 300000 to get something decent. What really makes this place shine is the state has no income tax. That's always a good thing, especially if you're, like, retired. A lot of states will tax your retirement income. No, not here. The cost of living is also about 5% lower than the national average, so it's all good. This is a definitely good place to live if you don't mind the gray skies and the rain, really. Number seven, Port Arthur, Texas. Right on the border of Louisiana, you have Port Arthur, Texas. Texas, in general, does a good job of keeping the cost of living low. Port Arthur takes it a step further. Some of the homes here would probably go for about 20% higher anywhere else in Texas, but being so close to Louisiana, the property values are a tad bit lower. 
probably because you got that bayou stank on it. But realistically, if you want a nice livable home here, you're looking at 150,000 to 200,000. That is still very low, especially being so close to the ocean or the Gulf. Nice homes start around 300,000 here. Now, here's where this place really gets good. The cost of living is 17% lower than the national average in Port Arthur. Not bad at all. You just gotta deal with being so close to Louisiana. Number six, Hampton, Virginia. Most people have never heard of Hampton, Virginia. I'm one of them. Hampton is right next to Newport News, Virginia, which I have heard of. It's part of the whole Hampton Road metro area on the Virginia Peninsula. Hampton is an independent city in the Commonwealth of Virginia. It is a Commonwealth, and they got about 140,000 residents. Hampton has three really nice beaches with great views. Sure, the occasional nuclear-powered naval vessel cruises by, but that's a small price to pay for such an amazing view of the ocean. What I like about this town is the cost of living. This is a very desirable place to live, unlike some of the other towns on this list, and they still maintain a low cost of living. They're actually 3% lower than the national average. If you know this area and you've seen this area, you'd think it should be, you know, 10% over the national average. No, it's still lower. You could buy an older, livable home for around 200000 here. A decent one starts around 250000 and goes up. It goes all the way up. But this is a nice place to live that's still relatively cheap. Number five. Palm Bay, Florida. Hey, look at that. Florida made the list. Unlike California, they have nice beach towns that are still affordable. Shockingly, the cost of living here is 6% lower than the national average. I didn't see that one coming. I thought Florida was going to be up there, but no, they have some nice places. Palm Bay is in between Vero Beach and Cocoa Beach on the Atlantic side. It has a golf course and some killer mountain biking, and you're not terribly far from Orlando in case you want to give Disney all your money. The median home price here is 120000 Now, I always say, but realistically, because median means they take all the properties for sale, the most expensive and the cheapest. And the cheapest could be a lot someplace or a vacant home that's been vacant for 20 years and it's going for 20000 Well, you average all that out and you come up with a median home price, which is really not realistic. So really, what you're looking for here is nice homes start around 200000 That's for nice, livable home. 250 starts the nicer homes built sometime after Duran Duran was relevant. Palm Bay is a nice place to live, especially if you're in the retirement age because everyone wants to move to Florida when they're retired. It's nice, it's warm, hurricane season can get a little scary, but other than that, it's a nice place to live. Number four. Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Ocean Springs is a town of about 17,000, and it's still able to keep that small town mojo. The Magnolia State has a lot of problems. Being expensive isn't one of them. The cost of living is 7% lower than the national average, the housing is 16% lower, and the town sits on the beach. Ocean Springs is right across the Biloxi Bay Bridge from Biloxi, which isn't very expensive either. There are plenty livable homes for around 150,000 in Ocean Springs. But you really want to be looking somewhere around 225, 250,000 for a nice one that you won't need to do a bunch of work with. It'll just be a nice house. The downtown area is great. The architecture is amazing, has streets lined with old oak trees. It just gives you that whole old south feeling. Number 3, Surfside Beach, Texas. Surfside Beach is also known as Surfside to, you know, the people that live there. It sits on the shores of the Gulf of Mexico near the city of Freeport, Texas. The population is a little over 500 and it's a great place to live if you don't mind climbing stairs. All the homes here are built on stilts. The cost of living is 3% lower than the national average and the housing is only 1% lower. That's not the lowest on this list, but the best part about this place is how close you are to the water. It is so close that, like I said, everything's built on stilts because the water likes to come ashore and visit the locals, apparently. You could buy a house, stilts and all, for under 200000 but the nicer ones start around 300000 and you go up from there. Surfside also has Lake Jackson in the area. It's almost a beach town, but if you're looking for a place close to the beach, look at Lake Jackson. This town has some of the best stats I have ever seen, and it still maintains a low cost of living and low housing prices. So yeah, Lake Jackson, if you want this area, I'd pick Lake Jackson and drive to the beach when I want to go. Number two, Lubbock, Maine. 
I bet you didn't think anything in New England could possibly be considered cheap. Well, luckily, Lubick is so far away from everything else, it stays cheap. Lubick is one of the most northeastern towns in the United States. Right across this bridge is Canada. There are a bunch of places more north of here, but Eastport and Lubick look like they're the furthest east. Normally, when a town is located near the Canadian border, I suggest it to retirees. As we all know, prescription medications are normally about two to three times more expensive in the United States states in Canada. But this island across from Lubick is very rural and I couldn't find anything that would look like a pharmacy. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section below. The cost of living in Lubick is 7% lower than the national average and housing is 47% lower. You can get a nice house with a view of the water or even on the water for less than 200,000. Lubick is a beautiful small town. If you ever get a chance, you're in the area, which most of us never will, but if you are in the area, check it out. And number one. Pensacola, Florida. Pensacola has some of the whitest sand beaches I have ever seen. I've been to a lot of beaches. I grew up in Southern California and our sand was sort of yellowish brown, like a beige. Here you have white, soft sand. It's amazing. You have the city part, which is on Pensacola Bay. The beaches, the few that they have on there are okay, but you have Pensacola Beach where all the white sand and touristy things are, and that's right on the Gulf. You just gotta go over a couple bridges to get there. This is a great place to live. Great weather most of the year and tons of outdoor stuff to do. Sure, you have to deal with the sound of naval aircraft every now and then, but it's also where the Blue Angels train, so it makes it okay. By the way, they have a really, really good air show in Pensacola every single year. Almost every year. It got canceled this year like everything else. The cost of living in Pensacola is 7% lower than the national average, and and housing is 5% lower. They have a lot of homes here for sale for under $150,000. I'm not even kidding. These are livable homes, probably not in the best neighborhood, but under $150,000. If you want something nice, three bedrooms in a nice neighborhood, you're looking at 220 to 260. That's it. This is a great place to live. All right, so that is my cheapest beach cities in the United States. Like I said, I'm sure there's a bunch of others that I missed. These are the ones that we found that were very attractive to most people. I'd love to hear if you know of a really good one. Maybe we'll make another list, like I said before. But that's that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget all the links below. Give the video a big thumbs up. Tell me what you thought. Subscribe if you already haven't. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.